Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Thanks for being with us tonight. My open. If there's anything the last several Democratic primaries have shown us, it's that there's a real chance Hillary Clinton will not win in November. That she will not win the election. That she will not be the first female president. Now, why would I say this? The most ominous sign is that Hillary's losing to a 74-year-old socialist. He's beat her in the last seven straight primaries, and these Bernie beatings are taking a toll. The guy comes out of nowhere. Well, he was in Congress for 29 years, but have you ever heard of him? Now, don't get me wrong. Bernie's a lovely guy. If you're into socialism, He's a 74-year-old grandfather who gives a great speech and no doubt believes exactly what he's saying. In stark contrast is Hillary, who will say or do anything to get elected, including throwing her own husband under the bus. More on that later. Now, can she win the Democratic nomination? Given the, win the influence of the superdelegates, the rigged system where party elites are sworn to her before their state even votes, yes. But can she win the presidency? I don't think so. Example, this week's New York primary debate in Brooklyn. What words come to mind when American hear Americans hear the name Hillary Clinton? Dishonest, untrustworthy, liar. So, enter the socialist to hit her where it hurts. The Bernie beatdown begins. Hillary, why would you take money from Wall Street and the big banks when you say they need to be crushed in order to help the little man? Why would your campaign take tens of millions of dollars from super PACs when you're supposedly against them? And Hillary, why would you take contributions from big oil lobbyists when you're supposedly in favor of green energy? And why would you personally pocket outrageous sums of money for speeches on Wall Street. And by the way, whatever happened to the First Amendment? You know, that thing about free speech? And what exactly, Hillary, did you say in those Wall Street speeches that only you can release for which you made hundreds of thousands of dollars? Now, the socialists and the moderators say, give us the transcripts, Hillary. And just to be clear, you have the transcripts, Hillary, unless, of course, you deleted them along with your yoga schedule uh, in that pesky email cover-up thing. Now, when she was repeatedly asked to release what she said behind those doors, she pivots. Then she ignores the question. Then she changes the subject. And then out of nowhere says, well, make Bernie release his tax returns, Hillary. Nobody cares about Bernie's tax returns, but within 24 hours, he releases them. But don't expect those Hillary speech transcripts anytime soon, folks. Her next pivot is, I will release those Wall Street transcripts when everyone else does in both parties. That's like saying, I'll disclose my offshore accounts when everyone else does, except that no one else has an offshore account. Or... I'll take you for a ride in my roles when everyone else does, except no one else has a roles. And what's with this one? I'll release them with everyone in both parties releases their paid speeches? Hillary, first of all, worry about yourself and your own primary. You already know that Bernie hasn't given a paid speech to Wall Street, that Wall Street would never ask him to give a speech, and they certainly wouldn't offer to pay him to give one. Hell, I doubt the socialist ever got paid for any speech. At least he's true to the First Amendment, you know, the free speech thing. Anyway, Hillary says we should just trust her, that we should rest assured that she is fighting for us when she says, quote, I stood up to them. And when pressed how, Bernie responded with this. Secretary Clinton called them out. Oh my goodness, they must have been really crushed by this. And was that before or after you received huge sums of money by giving speaking engagements behind them? 
So they must have been very, very upset by what you did. Hillary, really? You stood up to them? What did you do? Not one person has gone to jail as a result of the corruption and the fraud that has put us into an economic recession. Folks, ask yourselves, why is it that Wall Street always recovers, but the middle class doesn't? And Hillary, why didn't you use your influence connections and power to get the feds to investigate the pervasive fraud and the knowing bundling of some subprime mortgages? You know how to get the feds involved. You've done it before. Now you talk about pay inequity between men and women. It took the socialists to remind us that you supported the trade agreements that cost millions of American jobs and millions of dollars. It took the socialists to do what the left-wing media wouldn't. That is, call you out on the fact that exports create jobs and imports destroy them. You're worried about pay inequity between men and women? How about you start worrying about the millions of Americans who are out of work, with no pay, no check, and the others who work two and three jobs to put food on the table because they lost their manufacturing jobs in Pittsburgh and Buffalo because of your trade agreements? And to top it off, Hillary, you actually apologize for using the term super predator. Because some, including the socialist and Black Lives Matter, say it's a racist term. And so you say that you regret using the term. Mind telling me why that's a problem? Urban gang members dealing drugs and killing in their own neighborhoods? Black on black crime? Isn't that worthy of recognition? Aren't black victims deserving of the legal protections? And you're sorry criminals went to jail? You should be more sorry about the families of the victims in that community who buried their loved ones, including their children. But no, not you, Hillary. You'd rather throw your own husband under the bus for that crime bill that you supported. Well, look, I, I, I supported the crime bill. My husband has apologized. He was the president who actually signed it. Senator but, but, Sanders. But what about, but <laughs> Your husband was the one who actually signed it. Hillary, not only is that excuse weak, it shows that your moral core is even weaker. And that's my opening statement. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.